So we're gonna take you hiking and take you somewhere delicious afterwards. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video of episode two, Eat and Hikes, we're gonna take you on a hike and eat somewhere delicious. And we are joined by Mina. <laughs> Mina and I are going on this walk on the La Perouse Circuit Walk. The La Perouse is located in the south of Sydney in the Randwick City Council. And we're gonna head to Cape Bank. So we're gonna take you hiking and take you somewhere delicious afterwards. So keep watching, stick around, and we're gonna take you somewhere delicious after this hike. Without further ado, let's, let's go! You wouldn't believe this. That whole time that like up there and I was talking, like the mic was not <laughs> Okay, just a really quick update. We're about 40, we're about 47 minutes in to this track. Just letting you know the first two minutes will be a little bit of bush and then you'll end up at the beach. You turn left, you walk past the boathouse and that's where the proper track starts. And right now, look at this. Check that out. Look at this. What do you think, Mina? Very nice. Very nice, right? We are starting to get hungry, to be honest. We are, are you hungry? Are you looking forward to lunch? Yes. <laughs> She's crying. The eat at the end of this is going to be so, so worth it. Get excited, guys. Keep watching. Stay till the end because we got eights coming up. We're going to show you more of this hike, of this track. So it's about easy to moderate level. Not so bad. There are cafes in the area, but we want something special. Comment down below, have you gone on this La Perouse circuit walk track? Comment down below, where's your favorite track and trail hike here in Sydney or nearby Sydney? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go, Mina, let's go, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. How do you fall in line again? Fall in line? No, there's gonna be a line. So that's the line. You gotta fall into the line. <laughs> that's how you fall in line. So it's a bit of context. Falling in line in the Philippines is queuing up, basically. So if you're wondering what it means, so we're, we're like, yeah, we're making fun of the term falling in line. <laughs> Do it again, fall in line. There you go. So that's how you queue up in the Philippines. All right, we're gonna keep walking. <laughs> okay, so we're about an hour and nine minutes into this walk now. So what you do is, so we came from there. So it's gonna go here, here, but we have to walk back this way, Mina? Hold on. And then down that way. We got the cape there, and then we have to go down that way. All right, so just remember that. Taking you to Cape Bank now. Let's go. <laughs> Mina, wait, wait. So, who's this? It's Dwayne Johnson. Why? The Rock. <laughs> Hi, Dwayne. Do some more B-rolls and then let's get something to eat. Let's go. So like the last part of the track, it's not a track anymore, it's a residential area and it loops you back to around that parking area. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking, heading back to the car park, which is not too far. 
Let's go. Let's get something to eat. So you need to write your name down first and then you wait. Okay, so the food's here now. I think we over-ordered. Anyway, let's go. Let's get it. So we ordered some ayam paha bakar, which is the leg thigh part of the chicken barbecued. We also got some ayam goreng because, you know, that's what the restaurant's called, you know, fried chicken. But you come here actually for the barbecue and you come for the bakar. Uh, but the ayam goreng, the fried chicken, is actually good as well. And then we also got some special nasi goreng. There's some beef friendang too. There's some belacan kangkong. And there's this oxtail soup called soup buntut. I mean, I got a coconut juice. I got myself a ice chendol because I love ice chendol. So we're gonna start with the ayam bakar, but the paha, the, the leg part. Mm. Just juicy tender chicken, just like sweet notes, quite smoky. Yeah. Mm, that nasi goreng is super smoky. Love it. Like you can taste like the wok in it. Now I'm going to try some of that kangkong. Mm, those deep soy notes. Just hints of sweetness. Super garlicky. Just like umami from the blachan. Mm. Okay, so what the last so it's the last time I was here is probably be what three years ago. I love it when restaurants stay consistent. Like the food here is just as good as I remember it to be. Okay, so we're gonna try now the soup buntut or the um, oxtail soup. Ooh. It's got spices in it. Definitely a lot of roasty, nutty sweet notes in there. So nutty notes, sweet notes. I think that's all from the fried onion. Oxtail is buttery, it's tender. The soup tastes like has a bit of what? Something curry in it? Maybe it is a cloves. Could be the cloves. It's just right if we have an ayam goreng or a fried chicken. So. Mm. That's good. The skin is crisp, that light crisp and super flavorsome. Juicy meat. If you're gonna ask me which one I prefer, the bakar or the ayam goreng, I prefer the ayam bakar. Where's the barbecue? But this is still good. If you like fried chicken, if you like, if you're a fan of ayam goreng in general, and you must try this. So we're now gonna go to the city, go to my favorite pastry place in Sydney at the moment, because I want Mina to try this place. Keep watching, stick around, see where we're going to. Let's go. Make sure you visit Tenacious Bakehouse. Make sure you check out I Am Goreng 99, my favorite Indonesian restaurant still today here in Sydney. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please hit that notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace, much love. See you next time. Bye. Bye.